Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and I know this is a completely different angle than it normally is. I am standing because I felt like it because North Carolina just beat Duke and that's lovely. I love it. My dad's a Duke fan and if you don't know, every team my dad likes, I grew up into liking the other team. Like a rival of their team and none's more clear than me being a North Carolina fan instead of being a Duke fan, which I am glad I'm a North Carolina fan. I would way rather support a team that's not called the Blue Devils. But let's get to the point of today. Unbelievable game from Harrison Ingram. Unbelievable game from Harrison Ingram. He was phenomenal. He was our best three-point shooter. He hit the shots he needed to. He played good defense. He had a phenomenal hustle play. He had a lot of good ones, but he had a really phenomenal one, which he went up for. Like, he went up. I have a ball here. So, the ball, like, went up. There's three Duke guys in within the area. And then Harrison Ingram, the ball kind of knocks it. He dives on the ground, knocks it. Oh, back. He, not knocks. He knocks it down, dives on the ball, gets it. Wow. On the ground, throws it far so our guy can get it. I think Elliot could get it. And then Elliot to the corner of Ryan. And then Ryan hit the three. Phenomenal job <laughs> and good shot there by Ryan. What North Carolina did throughout the game was a lot. We got ran the break very well. Whenever we get turnovers, whenever we force turnovers, I think we forced about 10 or 11 turnovers. That was great which, because we're one of the better in transition teams in the country. Or with RJ Davis, he's the main guy leading the break and all that. He's if you don't know, he's a four year starter on the team. I mean not four year starter. He's a four year player who's been a starter, I think, for three years. So he's a great player. Great player. So whenever we can get him going down the court, when we get all these guards going down the court, and we got guys like Ingram <laughs> who can be great going down the court, and be able to finish, or if the guards want to try to finish, they can. All that. It just leads to a lot of good things. We didn't turn over the ball a lot, which that was a nice, that was a nice thing to do. Something that was a nice little change that would happen to Georgia Tech's game. Yeah, look a lot better in this one. Um, again, I mentioned R.J. Davis. Didn't do a whole lot scoring-wise until later in the second half, but whenever you score... He made, whenever he had the score, he did. He made two big threes. One of them kind of just put everything away, put it back to a 13 point game. That was big. Andrew Baycott, 20 point triple, 20 point double double. Phenomenal stuff there. Yeah, you know, well, it seemed like three, I think there were three times that Filipowski fell because of just how much Baycott was just posting him up and just backing him in. And <laughs> the Filipowski just had the foul and he would fall. And he just out he just outplayed Filipowski, which was great. Because I don't Filipowski I know was very good. I know he's very good. He relied a lot on his three point shot. He had I think he went one for six. It was not good for him, which that led to us being able to get these fast breaks going, which was good. I liked how our defense played, even though Duke did very good at their own offensively. I mean I, I hate playing guys like Jeremy Roach. Jeremy Roach, he's been on the team for a while. He's a very intelligent guy. He hits, he's their only guy who can hit a straight on three pointer. And he made like three of them. He's very talented and he's very good. Kind of faintly reminds me of the how Trey Jones used to play against us. Not to that level, but the annoyance of like, how, why do you keep making these shots type of levels? But, North Carolina did a very good job. Bench played well. Uh, I liked, we, when, we got a lick, when we got the lead, it was around a six-point lead. They, Duke hit us with some hard hits back there. I think Jeremy Roach might have been one of those threes. They had, a, they had a really good, just, they went back to try to hit us and make a 22-22, something like that. And then after that, we got a steal. It was a dude fell, number 15 fell on Duke. And we just ran the break, got the layup, and yeah, 
Another thing, uh, Elliot, number two. Learn to shoot a shot. And I mean, not learn to shoot a shot, learn to make a shot. Because he knows nothing he was shooting was going in. Uh, we're, you're lucky that, like, we're lucky that Ingram was doing really good. So we had a guy out there that could make shots. Because if it wasn't for that, you miss like four open threes, wide open threes. Like they were like here to like not even on the camera type of like open threes, type of open, and he missed. And he missed almost the same way every single time. It would hit the front rim, kind of rattle, hit the back, and then pop out. Very quickly, it would happen every single time, just like that. I don't know why, but at least he was consistent at his misses. So we knew we were going to get. That's something. So, yeah. But he did a pretty good job. He did pretty fine on the defensive side. So, yeah. But, good job overall. Not a whole lot of fouling. I mean, not a, like, called at least. There's a lot of fouls that happen. This It's a North Carolina Duke, and what do you expect? Not a lot of called stuff. People, Duke fans might complain about the first half. No free throw attempts. There were no reason for you to get any free throw attempts because there were no shooting fouls on you on North Carolina. And the second half, it wasn't like Duke was not getting any calls. They got into the bonus actually pretty soon because North Carolina kept fouling them. I didn't know why we kept fouling them. But we gave up like two and ones. That was not good. But Bay caught the very good at the end. He should be, he, he was like getting checked by the trainer, but that was not much. That was on the first half, so he ended up being able to play the full game, which was good. And yeah, go Carolina. Go North Carolina. I know we had a tough loss at Georgia Tech. That's not good. It was a, it was a one loss game. It was a one loss. It it was a one-point loss. I mean, I get it. Every team has a game that that when they, that they just lose to a bad team or a team that they should not lose to. It's on the road. It's a middle-of-the-week game. It happens to Purdue. It happens to Duke. It happens, I think it happened to UConn at one point, even though UConn's phenomenal. I watched them play against St. John's, and it looked like one of those games, like, okay, maybe a Rick Pitino-led team can keep it close. And they did for 30 minutes. But then the last 10, UConn just took it away. Took it away. And it was the inconsistencies within St. John's fouling and bad turnovers. The basic stuff that a, that a good team will exploit. Which, this is actually a great team at UConn. But, North Carolina, you couldn't ask for a better bounce back game. Could not ask for a better bounce back game. Good job, North Carolina. Let's go. Let's get higher in the rankings. Um, Kansas beat the crap out of the Houston. Even though Kansas had 17 turnovers, they shot almost 70% from the field. That was ridiculous. They beat them like 16. Tennessee at this point, when I'm recording this, is whooping the crap out of Kentucky. They're up at like 10 or 12 points in the first half easily. So, yeah. Hopefully Tennessee can win that one. And, yeah. That's my opinion. That's my reaction. I'm happy about how we played. Let's consider let's like the effort and everything. Let's beat them next time we play, too. So we can beat them twice in this season, actually. That's great. That'd be great to actually beat them twice in this year. But yeah, I'm gonna hold them up on them. And yeah, hope you have a great day. Stay safe, y'all. Put in the comments your own opinions. And yeah, hope you have a great day. Stay safe, y'all, and God bless y'all.